Thank you so much for watching Landom Sea Goes There. Please subscribe and hit the like button and the bell notification button. In 1981, we were introduced to an erotic thriller film that was written and directed by Lawrence Kasdan. That movie was Body Heat, and it was Kasdan's directorial debut. The film stars William Hurt and Kathleen Turner, and it features Richard Crenna, Ted Danson, J.A. Preston, and Mickey Rourke. The production is inspired by the classic film noir, Double Indemnity, from 1944. The storyline goes that on the Florida coast, a heat wave has settled in. But this doesn't affect the overactive sex drive of womanizing Ned Racine, a Miranda Beach lawyer that's not very good at his job. He has his own small law firm, and spends a lot of his time spying on several women as possible conquest. But the one he really has his sights set on is the beautiful Maddie Walker, who he can tell comes from money just by her appearance alone. She flirts with him despite his less than subtle come-ons, and she thinks of him as being very simple-minded. Ultimately, she tells him that nothing will happen between the two of them since she is married, and that her wealthy businessman husband, Edmund Walker, only comes home to their upscale Pine Haven house on the weekends, if at all. She stipulates to him that he can't tell anyone of their affair, which is pretty much against the general behavior of telling all his friends. As the affair escalates into a declaration of love, it also turns into one of greed, wanting both each other and Edmund's money. Since Maddie signed a prenuptial agreement that would provide her with nothing upon divorce, they decide instead that they need to murder Edmund. As they plan their plot, they encounter some unforeseen obstacles, including some the result of last-minute changes to the plan by Maddie without her notifying Ned beforehand. Ned eventually comes to the realization about what he's gotten himself into, and by that time, it may be too late for both himself and for Maddie. Kasdan, the director, wanted the movie to have the intricate structure of a dream, the density of a good novel, and the texture of recognizable people in extraordinary circumstances. George Lucas acted as an uncredited executive producer following successful collaborations with the director as a screenwriter on Raiders of the Lost Ark and The Empire Strikes Back. It's said that Christopher Reeve turned down the role of Ned Racine, which eventually went to his good friend, William Hurt. Reeve would later regret that decision, though he was really glad for his friend. A pretty good portion of the film was shot in east-central Palm Beach County, Florida. Additional scenes were shot on Hollywood Beach, Florida, such as the scene in the band shell. There were originally more graphic and extensive sex footage in the film, but after showing it to some test audiences, they ended up coming to the conclusion that the graphic footage just wasn't needed. They felt that less was more. Reportedly, the picture was shot in freezing cold temperatures, something that wasn't common in that area. The production had to simulate the heat wave in the film's story, the actors having to act hot in cold conditions. For example, the cast had to suck on ice cubes before speaking to eliminate foggy breath. And they also had to have water sprayed on their skin and clothing to simulate perspiration. The character of Maddie Walker that Kathleen Turner plays was modeled on screen legend Lauren Bacall. Turner was cast in this role due to the similarities that she had to Bacall, including a distinctively husky voice and distinguishable, long, shapely legs. Now, whether this fact is true or not, it still makes a good story, 
It's said that William Hurt and Kathleen Turner wanted to make the crew feel comfortable while they were filming their love scenes. So they lined up the crew, and both actors introduced themselves to each crew member. The difference being that when they did this, both of the stars were unclothed. Ted Danson plays somewhat of a different role in this film than we're used to seeing him in. And it's said that his mother went to see the movie and walked out in the middle of it due to the picture's provocative nature. She didn't tell her son this, though, and had pretended for many years that she had seen the film. She finally revealed this fact to him many years later. When Kathleen Turner did her second reading for the writer-director, Lawrence Kasdan, he said that it was the first time out of all the scripts he's written that someone had read the part exactly as he had imagined it when he was writing it. Turner sounded just like Matty Walker sounded in his head. The film was originally slated to be shot in New York or New Jersey area. It was moved to Florida because of a Teamsters strike. The two lead actors did a lot of stuff to try to break the tension that was on the set. When it got too much, Turner said she and Hurt would have races up and down the lawn and jump into the water. But she also admitted that she would shake and cry in her dressing room after shooting almost every heavy scene. Rumors flew about Turner, Hurt, and Kasdan on the set. One day while shooting, Turner was told by her agent that he had heard she was having an affair with both Hurt and Kasdan. She was extremely upset about this because none of it was true. She felt like it ruined everything for her. She was really hurt. Initially, Kathleen Turner wasn't even in the running for this part. She ended up getting flown to L.A. to read for some crazy female mud wrestling film. While she was at the audition for that film, they told her to dress up in these skimpy bikinis, and then they greased the girls down. Turner said this was not what the original script was laid out to be before she came. But luckily, one of the casting agents for Body Heat happened to see her and thought she looked perfect for the role of Maddie. She ended up auditioning and was perfect for the part. So that's how Kathleen Turner went from mud wrestling to being a seductress in body heat. If you've never seen this film, do yourself a favor. It's a great one. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll continue to chase the classics.